Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Thank you very much, Larry. We are here on a beautiful afternoon for football. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the New Orleans Saints and the Seattle Seahawks. And here's Lewis. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple of extra yards up to the 27 yard line. Time with Mark Ingram. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Second down following the run. On second down, here's Breeze. He dumps it down to Ingram. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. So the offense has it first and 10. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back usually a good spot to go with a football? Without a doubt, because he's right in your sight line or he's near you. So you're able to just get it to him easily. And once he gets in space, that's usually a good matchup for him. Well, they obviously red man covers their partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender, made him What think, do you mean by that? Bro, bro. Yeah, he made him think he's going to run a different route. Probably thought he was going to take it upfield. Then he curls back inside. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. K.J. Wright not dropping into coverage. He comes on the blitz and takes him down for a loss of nine. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. So a second down incompletion. Now brings up third down. Third and long, it's Breeze. He's got time in the pocket, and that is incomplete. The intended target there was Tim Hightower, and it's fourth down. Now the veteran punter for the Saints, Thomas Morstead, on to punt on fourth down. Back deep, the dangerous Tyler Lockett. Is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. And he's got his man in stride, complete. Oh, that's just not fair. And now room to run. Tyler Lockett. Touchdown. And the Seahawks have taken a first quarter lead. And Charles, I had an offensive coordinator tell me one time that they designed every play to score. I don't know how true that is, but he had to run a long way after that catch. Heck of a play. I think that when he was telling you that, he was designing run after catch in every play. <laughs> I mean, that's the only way to put it in there. And that's what we got on that one. Nice catch. And he had to run for big yardage. Hausch get out to send this one away following the score. And here's Lewis. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. The Saints offense now, they get ready to head back onto the field. And they'll be looking to avoid what happened last time, which is punting the football. Right. But when you look at how teams play the game, that complimentary football comes into play. How do I take care of my defense? How do I take care of my offense? Well, the defense is taking care of them in a lot of ways. Now it's time for the offense to jump things up and help their defense out. Give them a little bit of rest. Yeah, time, time for them to give them a rest. Words right out of my mouth. 
Ingram again. And this carry not as productive. He swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play there. Now it'll be third down. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends are like in a... With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gaunton. It's Saints football to begin quarter number two. They are, however, facing a fourth down situation. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. This will be fielded at the 17. A good return there, 17 yards. And possession will switch hands first and 10. We get a look at the Saints' defense as they file into position. Last drive, touchdown, surrender. Here, see if they can stop them. It's always a constant battle of letting the last series go, good or bad, but especially bad. Give up a touchdown. Okay, forget the finger pointing, forget the blame. Go back out and play the defense you know you're capable of and help your team out. And probably look to the leaders, as always. As always. <laughs> they're they're going to be the ones going to grab some people and say, all right, let's do this thing. You know, Charles, for Graham, so much concern early in the season about whether he'd be ready to play this year, what would happen recovering from the tendon. Not only was he ready, he played every game this season for Seattle. And it wasn't just the injury concern with Jimmy Graham. It's how Seattle runs their offense. Remember, when he was in New Orleans, he could expect a ton of passes to come his way. But in Seattle, that number was going to be reduced. Would he be able to maximize what they were going to throw in his direction? And he certainly did this year, 65 catches. 65 catches, just shy of 1,000 yards, six touchdowns, too. Rawls, the lone man in the backfield. Off the play fake to Rawls. Wilson. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. On first down, Wilson. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 11 yards on the pickup. Baldwin coming off his first Pro Bowl appearance. He had career highs, Charles, and catches with 94, over 1,100 yards. That also a career high. Pretty good season for Doug Baldwin. And I think the place that he really started to take off was midway through 2015. The connection between he and his quarterback, Russell Wilson, where they were playing more from the pocket, bigger plays downfield. And that just propelled him into 2016. That, and anything he perceives as a slight, he uses it to his advantage, and he just goes out and plays. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Earlier, partner, when discussing Russell Wilson, you said you think he's best when Seattle is running back centric. Is Thomas Rawls the centerpiece going forward there? I think so, because of what he did two seasons ago before he got hurt because he runs that offense the way they want it run. One cut, downhill, get up field, and Thomas Rawls is perfect for that. If he stays healthy, that allows Russell Wilson now to throw the play action, to bootleg passes that really hurt other teams defensively. And Rawls has youth on his side, just 23. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. He can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go through a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Wilson. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. Jermaine Kurz, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Seahawks add on to their lead. And that'll give them a two-score lead here, but I'm looking ahead. They just want to hold it for the final moments here in the second quarter. They don't want to give up anything on the other side. No, not at all, because if they don't, it almost had the feel of an imposing their will score. And right now, they want to make sure they keep that and tear it into the second half. 
Hauschka now to send this one away following the score. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Now the Saints offense, they get ready to go back to work here. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you've got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk this is a big decision here. Let's look ahead for a quick minute. We don't have the schedules yet for next year, but what we do have are the five international games that will be played, four in London and then one again in Mexico, Jacksonville, Baltimore, Miami, New Orleans, Cleveland, Minnesota, Rams in Arizona, those in London, and then Mexico's going to get a great game, the Raiders and New England. Yeah, you're exactly right, and just think about the ones in London. Remember, they're splitting them between the two different stadiums yep. in London, so they get a different flavor in all of these places but Mexico for the second straight year the Raiders are coming to town that should be a whole lot of fun should be a ton of fun and a very good matchup breeze again here on second and ten nowhere to escape and he goes down Jared Reed he's the one that got to him he takes him down for a loss of nine We have hit halftime still. All right, hang on. We'll jump over halftime. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And Seattle now ready to march out of the field. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the right, offensive staff the spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. All right, different topic here. 2018, the Super Bowl. North, far north to Minneapolis. Early, early, early predictions for that one. Who you got? Well, you know, everyone's still waiting in the NFL for a home team to play in its yeah. home stadium, right? So could the Vikings be that team? I'll start in the NFC, and I'm going to say no. I think Seattle, starting to get near that maybe last run with their defense. Burrow Thomas returns. I like Seattle coming out of the NFC. How about you? Well, I'm actually going to take a Dallas Cowboys NFC title run. I think that they came so close this year, probably most talented going into next year. I like that one. Well, in the AFC, I'm going to go with a team that if they improve their defense and their quarterback stays healthy, be that team, the Oakland Raiders. Okay, I'm going dark horse. Cleveland Browns, uh, let's like go. Hey, from worst to first. And he's got his man in stride, complete. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third and in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. So still in search of the first down after that last completion. They come up at an offset eye. Wilson going to give to Rawls. And he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. I always appreciate runners who understand situations. That was just third and inches. No reason to dance around in the backfield and try and break off a bigger play. Just go pick up the first down, and that's exactly what he did. Back to the ground on first. Again, it's Rawls. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest game. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. Second down, Wilson. And he's going to be wrapped up and driven down. Cameron Jordan in there to make the sack. He buries him for a loss of 10. Now that was just absolute perfect man coverage. Nowhere for them to go with the football led to a sack. And that's really difficult to do in today's NFL with all these gazelles running around that you're trying to cover in the secondary. Throwing is Wilson. Going up top. Oh, incomplete. Nearly the pick they needed. They would have loved.